now she's wearing a wire and now did, i know she's a liar it's a small you get it? podcast we're doing <laughs> comedy i'm starting the podcast well you know what we're gonna try to do you know what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try what to do doing? the it's gonna be called the try i will kill you if you bump the microphone and it decreases the audio quality of the podcast how about this yeah that's the game right. we're playing okay so don't bump the microphone okay wow my mother's back I missed you so much, Mom! <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, so talk about how I'm just, uh, I'm of the times, or maybe ahead of the times. Jay, we have Jay Patterson, not be confused with the two other Jays we've had on the <laughs> podcast. Too many Jays. But I'm the only female, right? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're not that type of comedy podcast. <laughs> One is definitely very sassy, though. We got a sassy we've, Jay. <laughs> um, no, we've had other women. We've had I think more we've, than one. We've yeah. had multiple. No, I meant f- the only female Jay. Yeah, yeah, female. Because it's Jay. such a man. It's such a male name. But we're here to stop that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You Trying to stop me- those shenanigans. Yes. Someone yes. was like, I don't like, I don't like your name. I don't like Bill. I don't think any B name is good. But that's just not even your name, so. It is my name. It's your stage name. Are you talking about Seahawk? Shut up. Seahawk, it's, it's, Seahawk, I Seahawk, just used my Seahawk. real name. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, I can get it. You know, if I just, if I just, you know, did this turn the switch in my brain where it's like, I don't care about. These girls' feelings, you know what I'm saying? I could turn on the charm, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, hey girls, I could. <laughs> hey, All right, I'm, 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 I care about you so much, and I'll never see you again. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Jay, what kind of drugs have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I have done a lot of drugs in my life. Some <laughs> legally, in my younger days, a lot illegally. What's the legal ones? Legal ones, you know, like I'm getting ready to be able to take some hydrocodone <laughs> in my surgery, right? Yeah. Um, nice. In Colorado, I was in a legal pot state. So, oh, yeah. you know, you could do, um, I don't do a lot because I'm a recovering alcoholic. Yeah. And, um, and I can like, back in the day, I liked drugs. I liked cocaine a lot. Yeah. And, um, but I didn't like pot. I really wasn't a big pot smoker. Because it made me too stoned, and then I wasn't any fun. At least I thought I wasn't. Like, would you just smoke, or would you do edibles? We didn't have edibles back in the day. Really? You didn't have some weird dude in his kitchen cooking up brownies? Uh Uh-uh. No. (laughs) Well, yeah, there were a little bit of that, um, but not like like today. So, Hmm. so what was it? it, Were you alive before the war on crime? You mean war on drugs? drugs. (laughs) The war on crime. I was alive even before Just Say No. My son was in junior high before Just Say No to Drugs came out. Just Say No. I don't know. Oh, that Nancy Reagan came out with Just Say No to Drugs, and he was in junior high. So that was like early 90s. So in the 70s, it was all about. So I graduated from high school in 1971. Dope. Yeah. And they were and then, doing that then and pot, or after? And so I did some pot in high school, but then I moved to El Dorado, Kansas and went to Butler County Junior College. Where, where were you? In Topeka. You were in Topeka. You, should, you, should, you were old enough to put my like, dad into shape. You should have done that. <laughs> should have <laughs> altered the future. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, doesn't that seem, I mean, but I think that's what I'm enjoying about comedy is for some reason, even my age, but I'm very comfortable being with you guys and you guys seem to be comfortable with me. Oh, yeah. Unless, uh, unless you really think I'm the annoying old lady no. trying to oh, be cool. Connor's terrified of you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? No. Yes. Yes. Well, true. yeah. Why would you be, what would you think, what would terrify you about an older woman um, being a comic? What would be scary Care, about me? Connor, Connor's staring into his reflection. No, I never said I was scared of you. I never said any of that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Absolutely terrified because you know he hasn't. He doesn't have a intimidating, funny, a, a tall seeming female figure in his life. 
oh, near the. Oh, okay. You're his Judge Judy. That's what you are. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Judge Judy. Wow, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Judge Judy in the in the basement. Yeah. Judge, Judge <laughs> yeah. J. How about if I just was Judge J yeah, instead Judge of J. Just J? That might there work for my new name, stage name. Uh, I don't yeah. know. It's pretty good. I kind of, we how have about, to work on that. How about J Famous? J, fa- <laughs> J Famous. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you're doing like, you're in like the black comedy clubs, basically. Well, in Topeka, <clears throat> we don't have as many choices like we do here in Kansas City. Yeah. But in there's Top City Comedy, which they perform every Thursday night at the Foundry. And so I have performed there. And then they'll have a contest every few months, you know, comic contests, and they come from all over the place. Yeah. And then the Elk Club is a um, black club in town that's really fun to go to because they're a great audience. And it's very speakeasy, you know, like everybody can still smoke cigarettes and drink, and it's really fun. It's, it's, a, it's a very cool place to go to. And that's kind of the only choices we have. Yeah. yeah. But if you still had all the choices, you would still go to the back club. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very I'm loving the diversity of my life in this last year and a half. Truly, mm-hmm. was yeah. it? Yeah, what was Kansas City like before the other scheme? Yeah, <laughs> Do you know. Chinese. Um, okay, Chinese. you know, really, Kansas City back. Okay, so back in the day, our high school would come and play Wyandot, for instance, mm. right? And that was always kind of a scary, uh, scary high school to come to. Yeah, just because it was kind of in a I don't know, wilder part of town or something. Um, but Kansas City going to Westport was the thing to do or going to the plaza. So when I came to Kansas City as a teenager, my sister lived here. So, you know, I'd drive over and yeah, do stuff. But Yeah, I mean, I live in Westport now and it's, I don't know, it's a mix of just like new artsy people and then and just then like the hood gay people mm-hmm. he's afraid of gay bars he, he gay won't bar. come he won't come to the gay bar open mics with me it's messed up it oh, was really? one time it just started what do you mean <laughs> see no, i wouldn't um, bother yeah none of that none of that bothers me i just don't have any wow Connor. really i just You're, don't have any issues this person this 69 year old woman nice is uh, older than is more progressive than you. you see, more nice. <laughs> it's more progressive than you. more open minded, Connor. I think, dude. I think it's because Connor secretly he's he's a little bit. I think he's a little bit more farther along the spectrum than he would like us to believe. You know, he took Molly and he's on his friend's shoulder. <laughs> he keeps telling us how he's not gay. Dude, it wasn't gay. Dude. It was just two bros broing down. Uh, just, mo- <laughs> just sitting on his no, my, on his shoulders. This is a good segue because it's like. Mm-hmm. My my dad still has like the vestigialness of like white lower middle class racism. He's like, you know, I never thought about like all the things my parents told me. They're like, you're free white and twenty one, you can do whatever you want. They say stuff like, "Well, that's mighty white of you." Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but even then, it's like we go to the like mall together, and he's like, "It's like there's a lot of um like Asian shops opening up for reason, open up." recently and he's like there's a lot of that going around <laughs> a lot of that oh really <laughs> yeah my dad's weird so or how like, old is your how old is your dad um he was born in like 1968 or something so he's 50s yeah yeah something okay curmudgeon. interesting <laughs> is he a curmudgeon already i think yeah i'm i'm trying not to be a from a jet you're mm. the opposite of a curmudgeon yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah um that's interesting. No, I'm, I've always been I've always been on the hippie spectrum. Yeah, you know, pretty open minded, pretty accepting, um, pretty liberal. Mm-hmm. You know, and and that's not to say that everybody I know is. Sometimes it's caused me issues in my life. Yeah, but I'm just and I think and you know like you guys know I you know I have this alopecia and I think in a way when you're different whether it's whether it's race or color or some deformity like no hair mm-hmm. you know I think your acceptance of others is easier because you kind of know what it's like to be different yeah Does that makes sense you yeah can say, you can say you're real like uh Jay Jay uh, and Smith Anything about it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. She, that pissed me off so bad <laughs> because she looks beautiful and she really had quite a bit of hair on her head. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, 
yeah i forget if it was years or months and she was like on camera being like i'm so proud of this yeah i'm so proud of being bald Cop- <laughs> copium 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 yeah. yeah yeah and you know what i don't have a hair on my head i have not mm. had a hair on my head since i was two years old Really? So, you know, I wasn't going to the, nobody, it, it, nobody in, when I was growing up, it was not cool not to have hair. Yeah. You know, like now. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I've always been cool. Yeah. I'd be so cool in the 70s. I would never get bullied. You might, oh. yeah. <laughs> no. Really? No, because if you were in the 70s, your hair would be like this. I and yeah, I loved you... long. I loved long hair on guys. I still, I still want my husband who doesn't have a lot of hair. I keep saying, <laughs> "Would you please just grow in the little ponytails yeah, just... <laughs> that you see those? <laughs> that all they have is the ponytail my in the father. back of their head." <laughs> <laughs> no, what was it? I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm lost. It's lost. No, yeah. I like seventies, like seventies hairstyle, like rockers. I like, yeah, mm-hmm. I forgot. It, it all blends in together, like rock. Um, I don't know, Prince. I like long hair, kiss hair. I don't know, like. Um, Trying to think. Well, like, like hair bands. Afros. I wouldn't. The hair bands were wild. Just like, what would they, they would perm it, right? Was a that, lot of them did. A lot yeah. of them wore wigs. A lot oh. of them, yeah. A lot of them kind of wore wigs or probably had clip ins. Um, and, but I still liked, oh, I just still liked that long hair. Oh, this, this one guy that I was madly in love with, he had the most beautiful long hair. Like, oh, God, the ponytail. <laughs> I just, it was just a huge. Oh, no, you'd put it in a ponytail? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It was, I mean, it was just really cool. Yeah, they did ponytails, but not on top of their heads and stuff oh, like yeah. they do now. Yeah. It was just like, Looked like you something know, stuck in the dirt. They, <laughs> they'd pull it to keep, you know. And, um, yeah, it, it, I just, I loved it. I still, I, I still think I'm kind of attracted to it. You know, mm-hmm. that look. Um, There's, I mean, it, I think it's starting to make a comeback. I mean, like mm-hmm. the 90s uh, kind of apparel, mm-hmm. vintage mm-hmm. is back, which I mean, uh, the like high. Oh, oh sh- like the <laughs> like the big like flare pants and stuff yeah. like those yeah, are coming bell back. Bottoms. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. And uh, and I was bell bottoms. I was all that mini. And I had the really short. See, the the prom dresses this year, short, short dresses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to wear my dresses what that are, short to school. Yeah. What is it? What are bell bottoms? Is it like with the poofy things? The place? flared there. So back down here, this would be this would flare yeah. out. Yeah. And Maybe. you know who made those popular? Yeah. Was Cher. Sunny and think, Cher. I know Cher. I don't even think I know who that is. Sunny, so yeah. Um, mm. You know Cher. Or you know who she is, don't you? Yeah, but like she, in like my dreams. It's like, right. it's like I sort know, of know. Your Cher, yeah, your Cher is not the same Cher I had. So, yeah, because she was more hippie when she was starting out. She's more glamour yeah. now. Yeah. Um, yeah, she sold out. She sold, sold, out. sold out. Come on, Cher. They always do. No, it's like how like... Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's like Madonna now. Like Madonna. Oh my then... God, Madonna, and she's doing all the makeup. See, okay, so that's who I'm trying not to be. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting facelifts. I'm not getting Botox. Yeah. Um, I do put makeup on, right? Mm-hmm. Put a little lipstick on, but I'm not trying to be somebody who I'm not. I'm not trying to be. I don't want to be like this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I have to accept it, and it's very hard in aging when. It, it, it is, it, I'm not saying it's not a thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I do, I have struggled with, I've struggled with gaining weight. I used to be very trim and, you know, now I'm like, what, what yeah. is all this stuff? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, um, I, I'll be honest. So, so, last comedy club night, it was kind of traumatic. I don't know why, but I'm thinking about it right now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was just sad. I was like, oh, I'll make it oh. really sad. <laughs> no, like, um, I'm trying to think. Rod Reyes, you, do you know Rod Reyes? I don't think so. Well, he's an older guy. He came up to me. He's like, you know what? I appreciate you, Bill. You know, you look like you just don't give a fuck. You don't care how you're addressed. I consider you an honorary elder person. I was like, <gasps> thanks. Wait, how you oh. dress or you're dressed? Yeah, how I'm dressed. Oh, how you're dressed. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, and I started screaming in the comedy club. Yeah, I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's every Thursday. Just screaming. They're like, everybody please be quiet. And then Bill's like on a stampede of screaming around. <laughs> but, Sorry. I just wanted the people I just wanted people who they're helping society deep fund the deep state hear my voice. True. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then you're like 
and you know you went up and you're like wow you're getting a lot better and i was like man i there must be some reason why she didn't say i was i'm funny <laughs> no i do i think you're hilarious I, I what i'm trying to what i can't get is what is the description of your style of comedy what do we call it it's dry alt alt <laughs> alt okay I'm so alt, alt. you're so alt i love meta. it it's alt meta I, I kind of yeah I have no that's that's where no I think you're very funny but I haven't I, it was like wh- I don't know what style comedy it is it's so unique don't you think do you get called unique yeah then it would also be really weird if you were like 35 doing your jokes though why just being goofy like that at 35 going up wearing the outfit you wear <laughs> I'd be cool. I think it works because it is you my outfits are cool as <laughs> and they and they fit your routine a lot. I really like that. Now, but do you feel like you're in character? Are you a character when you're on stage? He's always in character. He's doing bits. <laughs> I can't tell, man. My persona is coming yeah. who I am. I can't tell anymore, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. We'll be talking about something and he'll be doing jokes on me. I'm like, My stop doing self. bits. Go! Yeah, sometimes it's impossible to tell if he's being serious. It's like, yeah, I can see that. If it's like he... There's no point. There's no point in me being serious because it's it's just gonna be me be like, listen to these, uh, MDE videos and listen to your advice. I, oh I, I yeah. No, but like, uh, I mean, I mean, me being serious is just being like telling. Yeah, it's just it's just not as fun. <laughs> not nearly as fun. If people don't want to be serious. People don't want me doing bits. I mean, it's like if you want me to be serious, it's like Connor, do not tell. The young comedians to not do their time. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, a lot of comics say. To be fair to you, Connor, a lot of comics do say that. So yeah. you're not necessarily wrong. But I know. He was talking to one of the guys in our group, and he like just started relatively to us. And he was like, you know, like I just didn't know what to do, man. I just I didn't have that material, so I, and I just left. But there was the host wasn't there, so <laughs> it's at Murphs. So, but I was like, hey, if you really want to like improve, just you know, improv or work something out or just mm-hmm. do what comes to your head, you know, maybe it'll give you a good bits. And Connor's no like, no, cut that shit out. Don't do it. Don't. Yeah, no. so just get off. If you seriously are like, I have nothing else. Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, then just, just get off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just but, goes, but also, yeah. I also think and Bill's like, theory is to just riff. I mean, yeah. If you but can, you can. Yeah. If you can, but, but, if you can't, you might as well get off, though. But I mean, I think there's always value in, like, trying something. And whenever I talk to older comics, they're always, like, maximize your amount of stage time. And yeah. I feel like... But that's like, if you, you have... Just leave. Just... just I know, but... Don't go to but that's if you have jokes. If you have nothing else, don't just... Yeah, if you're, if you're standing there. Well, and just, like, I, I literally... Okay, because I was bad at Murphs and stuff. What I learned was you can't... you If you've got five minutes, right? And I time it, and I know what I have. But if I go to Murphs... And I bullshit, I bullshit with somebody. Maybe I'll say, oh, hi, guys. How are you tonight? Well, hell, there goes 15 seconds of my yeah. five minutes. And the next thing I know, I'm over. I was just so bad about that. So then something happened that I could not go over. I could not go over one second. And so then it was all about do not talk to the crowd. Just go up and do your sp- do your thing because you you're just an open mic person so three minutes the other night i was totally caught off guard i didn't yeah. know it was a three minute club oh it goes fast it was fast and i did not see a light mm-hmm. i told him and i did uh, did he walk a, in front and flash a light know. i don't think he did uh he was just bad with the light yeah michael's, like, the, uh. michael's the best host yeah so it was actually with, michael's first time hosting my, so. oh, okay. no it's not was it yeah he, he said, he it, said it no michael uh <laughs> He's actually the best host ever, and he has the most attractive girlfriend in all of Kansas City. All right. He's, he's the funniest guy ever. <laughs> Is he from Kansas City? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, from- he was a good host because you're supposed to get up there because one time I was there an ace. Well, he'd do a routine in between <laughs> yeah. every act, and I'm like, I'm never going to get on. Ace is headlining. Yeah. Ace We're- is a killer. He's yeah. a good host. I mean, he like, is in good. Terms of- there's like energy. It right. was weird being a new comic, and you'd be like, you've seen this guy around the world, and they bring you up, and I'm like, I'm like, it's third time going. I'm like, what? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. You don't know me from around the world, Connor. Do you think? Do you think that I can't can't be serious? I'm always doing bits on you, like how Ace is doing bits on you. Well, I mean, Ace would just do the bits on everybody, but you and Ace would do. He would go around. He'd be like, "Hey, you dropped something. You you're, you dropped your pants pocket, guys. Hey, you dropped your pants pocket. Mm-hmm. Look, d- dropped your pants pocket. You can do that to strangers." And see like, yeah. which one would actually like look. Yeah, but when we're talking and you do that, 
That's that's when I'm like, what is happening? It's funny. <laughs> that's when I go, what is happening? I mean, what, give me an example. <laughs> Literally just mid conversation. Any, I mean, I, it doesn't matter what conversation it is. Just give an example. Uh, it's like your sources, bitch, biatch. I mean, I don't know what we were talking about Thursday, but anytime I was trying to t- just talk to Max, you would like start talking about something else, and you're like, "Look at this video." And I'm like, All right, "No." That's Ace doing that. No, it's him. Oh, him. I'm oh. Ace. I would be the one hosting. <laughs> ah. Yeah, one day you're gonna get your super cool black comic nickname. It was my typhoon typhoon bill? <laughs> yeah. So what's yeah. Thir- what's Thursday night comedy? Where's that? Thir- Oh, that's just the comedy club. Oh, okay. Well, Thursdays, what else happens on Thursdays? Sometimes the Tagay show, is that still happening? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I guess gay people don't exist anymore. That I mean, there's shows everywhere. I mean, there is like a comedy scene east, kind of. Well, there's the Legends. There's 40-something highway. Well, I mean, if you're talking east, there's one in China. <laughs> yeah, if you go far enough, you'll just find a bunch of open mics, even in different continents. <laughs> and I went to Rhinos. Have you done Rhinos? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. have you done I, Harley's Hideaway? I've mm-hmm. actually, uh, last time I went there, I uh, fucking murdered, destroyed. So. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yes. A good? See, now I, you are hard to tell if you're serious, see? Right? <laughs> I did. You killed it? I did. <laughs> did he? No. <laughs> I did. What do you mean? You said you didn't. I did. Well, actually, you never answered. I'm like, how'd it go? And you're like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, you weren't there. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I'm, I fucking destroyed. You were there, weren't you? No. You weren't there. Oh, yeah. I fucking destroyed. Was that your Was that your best night ever? Um, Maybe, yeah. Do you think that was your Because it was like, yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, it was. There, there's other times where I've killed, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the most recent one in memory. So that's Aww. what I feel like. And you have to have a few of those. A uh, Pat was there. Max was there. They can confirm. Mm. I fucking murdered. I just, the next night I did the, like, a similar bit. But I, I think I, like, scared all of Max's. I, like, did the I want to kill bit. That was a little bit scared them. Oh. But, <laughs> I, I want to kill. I want to Yeah, kill you'll scare them. the audiences. Yeah, but I did that the <laughs> night before and it fucking destroyed. I know. I was there at the Rhino. Yeah, why'd you gaslight me? We weren't talking about the. We were talking about Harley's. No, I was talking about the Rhino. Oh, oh, you already, went for, and we were at Harley's. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were talking about Harley's. Yeah. Whoops. Give yeah. it on you guys. You're, you're really the one stupid. that said you had. You were. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what. Now this is what we should do. This is who I've been looking for is some people to go with me down to Wichita and do Looney Bins and do the Friday night midnight show. I've never been. And do the Wednesday night open mic. I've been. You've been, to, you've been to the, when, did you like it? I did the competition. When they were oh, the did competition, you? Yeah. Like, did you like that? I didn't like losing, no. I, I know. <laughs> you had to drive out there and lose. I know. Drove I didn't. Three hours. And then, dude, and then I was like, dude, it was so, like, I, I lost. And then my friend who's going to Wichita State, and I was like, hey, like, you want to meet up? And they're like, sorry, like, it's raining really hard. And my roommates are having sex right now. I don't think it's a good time. <laughs> and then, um trying to think and then uh i was like okay and then i went on the way home and i almost ran out of gas but i stopped at a truck stop but then i was like so, it's, it's so tired oh you see any lot lizards running around no. scurrying around no, I, was, <laughs> I was so like tired that i like i accidentally like pumped the gas all over my clothes <laughs> so, oh my god that's oh my the worst so i drove, I drove like an hour like 45 minutes um and then i like played videos of loud people screaming and then turn the air conditioning on. Yeah, and so hang was, your head out the window. Oh so I was falling asleep. I was, <laughs> but I really need to get home. Yeah. And you made mm. home okay? Yeah. Oh, that's. And then I got, and then like a week later, I got a car crash and then a concussion. Oh. I'm a victim of society. <laughs> of driving. <laughs> I used to work. So when I lived in, you know, but you know where El Dorado is by Wichita. Is it El Dorado? I don't know, El, El, El Dorado, El Dorado. <laughs> is it Arkansas River or the Arkansas River? It, yeah. I'm from what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but I worked at the Matfield Green Howard Johnson's mm-hmm. overnight. And I would fall asleep at the wheel driving home to my apartment. And I fell asleep at the wheel and I woke up right before a cement bridge. Oh. And I woke up and I went er, er, in my Plymouth Valiant. And I turned around in circles and went down into another ditch. And I was like, oh. And then it was like, I didn't 
I couldn't drive for a long time because really? it just freaked me out. Yeah. Falling yeah. asleep at the wheel. Yeah. It's funny. You say things funny, I feel like. El oh. Dorado and c cement. I say things funny. What do you say? Do you say roof or roof? I say roof, I think. But sometimes roof. roof. I used to say Vietnamese. I don't know. I guess I did that. Yeah, but that's just saying it completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Vietnamese. Vietnamese? Yeah. Um, Vietnam. Now, see, my husband was in the Vietnam War. There you go. He that's was cool. an Air Force pilot. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. How many? Isn't that weird? Doesn't it feel weird? Yeah, how many yeah. Viet Cong did he defeat? I don't know. No, he didn't. He was a he was a pilot and he he rode he flew those big fat planes and took yeah. in equipment and then brought home caskets. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my great grandpa, he was in World War Two and Vietnam because mm -hmm. he was just what was he? He did like aviation something. Mm -hmm. And then now my grandpa wears his Vietnam hat around. It's like, what are you doing? I know, they do. <laughs> they do. Just stolen valor and just they like letting do. it happen. It's and it's also a chick. It's a chick. Um, what do you chick magnet? My, yeah. We had a. We owned an RV park in you Colorado. Buy, you could buy wear one. Yeah, if you wear, it's a chick magnet because then they go, oh, because this one guy he was, um, he was in the Oma on the Omaha Beach, World War Two, whatever, and people would mm. see his hat and oh my goodness, people would buy him beer. Yeah. See, so there's there's ways to. Like True. To grandpa, use it. You think he gets it? My grandpa? Yeah. He gets, and you get attention. My grandpa's a piece of shit. Well, like, he'll just, like, he keeps marrying women to basically just steal their stuff. <laughs> 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 He's a wild boy. Wow. Usually it's the woman doing that. I know. Ah. But See, society has progressed so far. Gender roles have completely reversed. Yeah. yeah. My grandpa is a gold digger. It wow. is hilarious to watch. Yeah. But, I mean, he was like an old hippie was always in he was in a band mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i don't know it's just that free living that free living yeah. <laughs> oh i get it totally get it believe me i lived in a school bus a converted school bus really in the late <laughs> that's, 70s yeah that's the ultimate that's and, yeah yeah <laughs> i was it was the ultimate my my second husband i met him on a blind date and he had coal black hair and it was pulled back in a ponytail and he had these electric blue green eyes and a harley was he like a gangster? I was in love. Was he a mob mob boss? No, he <laughs> wasn't. No, he wasn't. But I was. That's all it took was the 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 ponytail Denny's. and the Harley. That's not Denny. Denny's my oh, third. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> Denny owned Topeka Harley Davidson. Oh, oh. I'm the gold oh. digger. I'm the gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see. I thought, say, I thought they were going to say, you own all of the Denny's. Yeah. Oh, I thought, no. yeah. You're like, oh, my God, it's Denny? It's the Denny. It's the Denny. It's the Denny. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, you know, Denny, he owned a, a, the Harley de dealership in Topeka. It was a family, family business. Mm. But he's been, we've been retired for years. Yeah. Man. But yeah, I had my own Harley. I was the girl. Um, you were a I was, rock girl, basically. I was everything. I was just <laughs> everything. Just running through phases. I did. I have very many, a <laughs> lot of phases, definitely. So this is my funnest, though, I think. I'm really enjoying yeah. this phase. Comedy's fun. Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. Now, bombing. I that's got not it. fun. Dude. <laughs> yeah, no Dude, bombing. I, I got I to gotta, I gotta make... I mean, hopefully, like, the older you get, it's like you're peaking. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is, oh, mm. yeah, this guy, this is my peak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, it's over. I know. And see, you got to keep, okay, so this is this is for you guys. Like, right now, you're in this kind of a cool phase, the 20s. So, 20s, my, thir my 20s and 30s were difficult just because of alcoholism and depression and yeah. just the divorces and losing everything and you know i had a lot of drama yeah and so then you know things 40s and 50s and then i'm into the 60s but when you, then all of a sudden you panic because you know people have midlife crises and i'm having try life i'm in my try life <laughs> crisis right i mean this third and it's like i'm panicking i'm like Oh my gosh, if, if I'm going to get it, what what's my goal of what do I really want to have happen? Mm -hmm. Comedy wise, right? Yeah. You know, I want to be I don't want to be world famous, but I'd like to make it on some stage. You know, yeah. either you know, even in I don't know, even Kansas City might be good enough. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um so but then it's like, but God, I'm this. I've got to do it. I've got to do it now. What if I get cuz see, now my age, people just drop dead all around us. 
heart attacks, cancer. Yeah, instead of weddings, your de- funerals. Yes, funerals. And then the COVID came, and that took people. And then you're just like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And um, gotta go to see, so I got to do it. I mm-hmm. got to do it. And then if I do go, then now I'm going to have some young friends come to my funeral. Yeah. Because that's what we always say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Here's the other yeah, we'll thing. roll up. <laughs> here's, here's the other thing about it is like, so when somebody young passes away, oh, my God, you know, and the, there's a million people at the funeral. So yeah. people are age to die. And there's like a few people, you know, not too much drama. And there's nobody so. commenting on your funeral page, yeah. <laughs> right? So see, now I have some young friends and you can go, oh, yeah, she yeah. was cool. She was <laughs> a gilf, you know? <laughs> so you're going to make it, you should make. So my friend, a friend of mine died recently. No, All of them, they're dropping like flies. Oh, man. <laughs> they're that cool. Everywhere. They're that cool. Um, I think it's. Mainly drugs or suicide. I think that's what the teenagers. Oh, the suicides. They're heartbreaking. I tell you. Or yeah. cancer. That was one. Yeah. Shout outs. Nice. Yeah. No, you are. No, you are. Sometimes I'll, I was looking through my Instagram follows and I was like, because I because I follow a lot of people and, you know, I'm kind of ashamed of my follower count, you know, shout outs, mm. ratio. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was like, like, man, like this person. Like they're they're like active, they're inactive. It's because they died of cancer. Oh yeah, they're ghosts. Oh. They're ghosts on Twitter or Instagram. Oh, I guess it's really? like should I, I shouldn't unfollow them. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, see, that's. I guess that's the nice thing about Facebook because your page just becomes a memorial page. It's it like, does. Instead of just like old things you've said. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's wow. Kind of... This guy was racist. <laughs> yeah. You go. Oh, she thank God. This act- well, you know, I have that. I've been working on this bit about people dying and it's everybody's always I mean, like I knew this person who was murdered. Right. Mm-hmm. And oh, my God, she was this and she was that. And it was like, no, she wasn't. She was a real bitch. You know, yeah. she was an asshole. So <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to do this obituary thing but i can't seem to get it to quite work yeah but one of these days it'll come together what is it did you comment on that thing huh? you comment on her page no oh no several but several of us did i mean that the people who knew her were like what yeah <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> oh that's probably what my funeral page is gonna be like there's people man, talking shit <laughs> man Fuck this guy and his bits, man. Fuck this guy. His his Chinese was so hot, I couldn't eat it. <laughs> man, I'm insecure. <laughs> what is it? I do this. Fuck. No. So when so when suicide happened, this guy may I'll be some respectful. I don't know. Um. Yeah. There was no. A, just be re- few, mask off, dude. Be very there was disrespectful. A person a friend's a friend of a friend died in high school cancer crazy mm-hmm. um and then a kid i knew but um like didn't really know that well uh, uh killed himself over covid um and then it's like um like there's like a senior group chat and they were talking about it. it's like like we guys we need to unite together as a great and treat each other oh, right. Oh, yeah. So oh, I, sent, yeah. Like, I sent like three paragraphs of like, you guys are like assholes. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I mean, it, I mean, it's high school, but it's like, you can't pretend like you really gave a fuck about like uh, right. the, the nerdy like kid right. who had an aid following him. Right. I was yeah. like, I, I mean, no, it got 67 hearts. So I'm, you know... So they liked what you said. Yeah. Yeah, because it was real. The truth speaker. I'm me. I don't do bits. Oh, yeah. I just speak the truth. Well, I mean, what was it? Lunch? Me and my my essay, Juan, uh, we sat together and we had no table to go to. So we sat with this kid. I forget his name, but we sat with him for like a month. Yeah. yeah. And then one day he just wasn't there. And we're like, (gasps) damn, where is he? And then we learned that he had uh, committed suicide by cop. And the cop that we knew that we liked <laughs> he was the one that shot him Aww. and so we're just like sitting at lunch we're like yo this is pretty messed up this is yeah. weird this is odd and especially about- when you and especially when you were like being his friend yeah it was just know? us three at the okay. lunch table he Connor. didn't talk much but Connor. you know Connor, with all due respect uh-huh. and to know to say that suicide is very serious you ever think about that maybe like he wouldn't have killed himself if you just like left him alone <laughs> <laughs> it could be true 
No. I, I refuse. I refuse to think that. Really. That's scary. Now, when you said that, what did you say before you said that? That scares me. If I scared you guys, what did you say? Now, to be perfectly honest, is that what he said? <laughs> that made me scared. I'm like, oh, my God, what's he going to say? No, but I do. Um, now, okay, so if we go back in my day, there really weren't any suicides. Now, mm-hmm. we did have, oh, now here's my new joke, though. Yeah. Okay, so I have, um, so I'm the one wearing these weird looking wigs because there's no cool wigs out at the time, right? Mm-hmm. So I really took a lot of weight off of the people who were gay or weird or nerds, you know, because they could always go, well, yeah, he's a though. They, they go, well, yeah, but what about the bald girl or mm-hmm. the, you know, the girl with See, no hair? Yeah. See? And that's why she's cool. And that's why Connor, the guy who's like, he always fits in. Connor always fits yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, and I had, and I, and I was. <laughs> I hung out like, with everybody. Like, yeah, I don't know what you right now. Like yeah. right now, perfectly. You go to a, neutral colors. <laughs> you could go to like a homeless encampment and just be like, yeah, Mons. yeah. I've hung, yeah. I've hung out with homeless people. Yeah, yeah. You do actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, I have, um, yeah. What is it? He, um, I mean, I do too, but it's like I, uh, I'm just too weird. I, mm. I, I, I could, I could be like chill, but that's. Are you trying to be weird? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wait, you, you, can, you really agree with that? You what, that I'm you're sure. just weird? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Have you always, is this always kind of been your personality? Um, you know, it was weird. One time, like, uh, I got into a car. I was used to be, like, super serious. Then I got into a car accident and, like, tire personality shifted. <gasps> did just, you have brain? Did you have a concussion? I'm joking. Oh, really yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I knew him a little, maybe a month or two. Before he got in the car wreck, and nothing has changed. Oh. <laughs> people, like people kept asking me that, like, "Are you acting this way because you hit your head?" Like people asked me that. Genuinely. Or maybe was this your? Oh, oh, the other one is like, "Oh my god, I almost died, so I'm gonna be who I am." Oh yeah, the like uh, life, the life it was, reevaluation. It was, it was, it's like, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give this another oh, shot. <laughs> for how fast I was going, it was a pretty slow car crash. <laughs> <laughs> You're going what thirty seven miles an hour? No, I was going like sixty, but it was like it's more awkward than anything. It was like, well, like I don't have a windshield anymore, but the car still works. So I guess <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had some of those. I had some of those. I had a car. I had a van once that I would have to literally climb underneath. It was a a Econo. Uh, a, I was gonna say Econo Lodge, an Econo Ford van. Oh yeah. Uh, the gears like, were on the steering wheel, mm. and it would get stuck, and I'd have to climb underneath and literally move the shit <laughs> crap like that. I mean, that's pretty bad. I was, you know, I was kind of badass. I don't know who I was trying to be. I was just really glad to get out of high school and move out of town. Yeah. You know, and be, then I could kind of reinvent myself. Yeah, like, you were who just, am I? You yeah. were just being a free bird. Yeah, I was a free bird. <laughs> I was a free jay bird. How about free bird? That could be my name. <laughs> jay bird. <laughs> Jaybird is my nickname. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes I worry that I, um, I'm going to have to replace Connor one day and remake that poster. I love that. <laughs> You're going to find another white guy? <laughs> I love or maybe, that. Yeah, maybe I don't have to if I find the right person. Yeah, you can always <laughs> look the same. There's right? a lot of me kind of walking around. <laughs> yeah, and with that, but wouldn't you be sad? If I got kicked off the podcast? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry for bringing this up. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my fault. I'm, nope. I'm sh- I just know deep down in my heart, if I got kicked off the podcast, it'd be for something so dumb. No! <laughs> Never. It wouldn't Never. be something like really dramatic. Like, you know how comic friends will go, yeah, like uh, Jamie Foxx and Jerry Seinfeld don't even speak anymore because he said this to him or yeah. something, right? Or he stole a joke. Or Well, with Bill, I know for a fact it's because I'm going to start dating your mom, so. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I know for a fact it's gonna be. I'm gonna really start dating ice skating girl, and you're gonna really, be, yeah, you're gonna take gonna my take ice skating girl. All your bitches, <laughs> <laughs> take all your bitches. Hey, you know what? I talked to Emily for five seconds. She said I was funny. You could have her, dude. Oh. She's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, you you you've seen how I treat everybody. You know I can just tame a woman. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. <laughs> You take, in her place. See, that's how I got here. He I'm, yeah. me. I'm physically, I'm physically um, impressive. 
Oh, I like, here's what I like today. So I didn't have, I didn't have the address here, right? Mm. And so I'm, I'm going, okay, is this for real? Like, was he stoned when he was texting me, messaging me in the middle of the night? Yeah. And so then. I, I, I was. You, wait, this is in the middle of the night? I was, it was, it was 11 or 11 or 12. What'd that, you say? Um, did you, yeah. did you text Thursday her you night? up? <laughs> Were you no, like you it was up? on Thursday night. It was it during was. the comedy club open mic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you go, um. And I go, okay, hey, how about next Tuesday, April 19th at 6.30 works? And I'm like, perfect. Yes, ma'am, I'll send you the address. I'll make Chinese food if you're okay with that. And I go, I like Chinese, but be careful with soy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, do you want me to bring anything? He goes, no, just yourself. And I go, what's the name of the pot? Small boys. So then, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> well, I and, and then, but see, he says he was like overwhelmed. And so now I was feeling bad. But then I finally had to say, could I have the yeah. address? Yeah. <laughs> But then I responded, right? Yeah, but you go, but then you go, 6.30, like we said. <laughs> That's not the tone. Wow. But, no, he, put it, the, he, but this, he had an exclamation point. Yeah. If it was oh, just wow. a period, I would have went, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, 6.30. But then it was an exclamation point. Like, don't be texting me wow. now, more lady. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. No, this is, this, is, this is how I said it. 6.30, like we said. That's how I say it. And I'm going, 6.30, like we said, quit bugging me. <laughs> See, isn't that funny how people's perceptions are like, this annoying yeah. old lady is bugging me? Oh, well, just... So that wasn't, I wasn't doing no, that. No, and you weren't. Yeah, I'm the annoying funny? old lady, you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're... <laughs> this is what happened. So, last podcast, we talked about this last week, but he texted me. He was like, so, I'm gonna be 15 minutes late to the podcast. I gotta run some ideas uh, to my co-producer slash host for the show I'm doing. I'm like, okay, and he's like, and then he goes, Lamau, and I'm like, okay. Oh, Lamau. <laughs> and then he goes, and then he goes, actually, he goes, actually, my co-producer, Lamau. I'm like, oh yeah, just a. I was like, is he like with another one? Is he flexing on me? Is he is he being like I'm doing something so much better than the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he was just like no i was just trying to explain while i was late and i was like i guess <laughs> yeah sometimes personalities just don't come through text i'm just well saying don't, at all. yeah and i think that and also so this is new now you guys know this jay this jay bird now yeah jay bird a couple of years ago she had to work on her hypersensitivity really oh yeah oh wait till you kind of move as you progress with your maturity mm -hmm. you know you'll never know at 42 i'm going to some um i'm like checked in someplace for a month mm -hmm. finding my inner child yeah you know what do you what do you mean checked in a place? Like a mental? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a mental, like a, not a mental. It, it, was, co <laughs> it was codependency. And I was dating this guy that mm. was just really bad for me. But so here I am. I'm a sober woman still dating active alcoholics for 10 That's years. Pretty good. Because Wait, is that, that good or bad? It's <laughs> oh. terrible. <laughs> it's terrible because that was my comfort zone mm -hmm. was just, that's just how it was. And so I went to this place to help me stop doing that. Oh. So then you had to discover your inner child mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So those are things you can look forward to. I don't know. <laughs> the segue. <laughs> <laughs> to the inner child. I'm with you my like, inner children right you, now. <laughs> I, got, I got you presents. I got you a ring with like a beetle on it. Oh, no. am I going to cry? <laughs> like it. I've seen you sell things on your Facebook garage sale or something. Oh yeah, earrings. did you see? That? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how earrings work. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know oh. if I was gonna buy you an earring that's like, I'm, how am I gonna stick this into my body? Aww. But um, so I got you these. That this fit your. It's like a, it says good vibes and there's a rainbow. Oh yeah, there. that's kind of that inner child thing. Oh, I love these type of things. Oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> And you, you go. got him on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably have figured that out. <laughs> My Let bad. me see. Is this dollar store? I think it is. Ooh. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. So listen it to what he's. Not. But listen to this. I love this kind of stuff. Um, shine like the stars and look at my tattoo. Wait, wait, hang on. Now you know I didn't even go into this whole mess I got going on <laughs> as a as a as a lady. Okay, look at my tattoo. What does that look like? It looks just like that thing you just gave me, that charm. Mountains. It's crazy. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. That's where I used to live in Colorado, and those are the Spanish peaks. Mm. So that was my view. 
So anyway, see, that's that's very it's, touching. It was not the dollar store. No, it's. Very, <laughs> I don't. It, it might have been at my garage. So, did you go to my <laughs> <Yeah>. garage? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have. I should have. Oh, uh, I taken love off. it. I really do. I love little gifts. And I have to tell you guys, when I was there the other night, and like I said, I kind of recognize you guys from Murphs, but we've never, you know, I don't hang around. Yeah, because Connor's, I was, hmm. Connor's been to Murphs so many times. <laughs> yeah. I've not never been to Murphs. Oh, you haven't been to Murphs? No. no so, it just looks like one of those. He, guys. he looks like the Murphs guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks like that one guy. He has a bit. I don't know. Maybe I should say that. He has that corn bit. You oh know, yes, yes. you think i'm doing jokes about corn <laughs> yes <laughs> um yeah no anyway um i'm very touched and i really am honored that you guys asked me to come do this oh I yeah am, and this is all from the bottom of my heart even though i wasn't sure if it's going to be a serial killer or not yeah yeah i mean we're the, <laughs> yeah. we're the kansas city comedy vanguard <laughs> So. You are so, you're very cool, and I meant to bring you because you all had your notebooks. I thought, oh, you guys are so cute, and I have <laughs> miniature, you know, the little the notebooks things you have. Mm -hmm. I have miniature ones, and I meant to bring those, so I'll put it's them okay. in the mail. It's okay. I I bought you gifts from not the dollar store, and you forgot to bring yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I did bring a picture of me. There, there's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the headshot. We got, got the headshot. Picture. You got the headshot. <laughs> you Do know you have... what I mean? Going like this. What? Who did you call me though? Who did you call me? Uh, what did he say? Oh, no. um, Billy John Joel. Lennon. John, John Lennon. John Lennon? John <laughs> Lennon? Yeah. And then yeah. one of my <laughs> classes, the guy said I look like Elton John. And I'm like, <laughs> I do not look like Elton John. We got in a big fight. On John Lennon. <laughs> so imagine. Imagine that, right? John Lennon, imagine that. Aww. <laughs> I think this is pretty sweet. Look at that. Maybe. Yeah. Are we going steady? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Bill, you have is. something it's, to ask. <laughs> it's very sweet. Yeah. So is that the – now, if I have gifts, is that the end of the podcast? No, no. Oh. <laughs> it's just it's – just, you'll bust it out sometimes <laughs> randomly. I'll put my – so did you – had you heard the gruesome details about this? No. I fell August 31st. Mm -hmm. I have a sweet house-sitting deal, pool yeah. in the backyard, the whole bit, yeah. down in Padre Island. I get out of the pool – and go trotting into the house on a tile floor, boom. Just slip, yeah. Boom. Could not get it fixed. Could not have a, <sighs> couldn't find anybody to fix it. Mm -hmm. Finally, three weeks later, we have surgery. It's grown back together. It's massive. I have a rod up my arm. Well, yeah. now I still, it's been that long and I still can't use it very well. And now yeah. that's when I was talking about those crutches and the walker. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to break my neck this week. <laughs> it's been well, terrible. Is it, did you have like nerve damage? Um, not so much nerve damage, but, uh, but apparently at this age, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of arthritis develops and seeing it, see, and see it still swells. Yeah. See? It's even better than a Facebook memorial page. The best, True. The best yeah. comedy podcast in Kansas City. I'll say it. Yes. I mean, some older people take one fall and they're done. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you're uh, one of the strong ones. Yeah, I had to keep going. I was yeah. going. Oh. Did you see me when I was – because I, I went to New York City. Mm -hmm. I was this in November. And I had on a brace, and I'm walking all around the city, and I'm going to open mics, and this arm is just going round and round. And when I got home, it was so swollen and oh. sore. <laughs> and so then I started going, and I taped duct, duct tape, duct tape my mm -hmm. arm to me so I wouldn't move it during my routines and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been crazy. Is, can, oh. I'm sorry, I interrupted you earlier. But can you tell us about how you were accepting of the gay kiss? How I'm accept how I am. What? Oh, oh, I have two stories. I have two things. Okay. What? Okay. So okay. one first thing, talk about having alopecia in school. I remember like this guy having like like patches of bald spots on his head. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, what happened? Did like your hair stylist fuck up your hair? Because you know, I don't know. Sick. And then he was like, I have like. Allo something. Areata. He had allo. He had areata, which is the holes. He, he, mm. he, yeah, but he was like, he didn't even know. He was just like, I have allo something. I don't know. There's another the half of it. Okay. Uh huh. He's a good soccer player, and I, the last Instagram <laughs> post I saw of him is him in a bra. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to make this. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make the story interesting. That was anyway, interesting. So you said that because you're like, oh, you're the bald girl. And yeah. You're like, 
you love the gay and weird kids. Well, what it was is that it, I probably took a lot of pressure off of them because mm-hmm. they could always have some, well, what about her? Right? Yeah. I, now, whether they did it or I don't know. But so when I was in school, there was, there we had um, gay, I had a gay gym phys, phys ed teacher. And then there was a group of gay women and if maybe a couple of guys maybe they were but it was like it was you know maybe somebody might i don't think we use the word gay i think we probably use queer yeah maybe probably um or another word or another <laughs> yeah. word um, but, it, but it seemed like it just wasn't a it wasn't a thing That's yeah what i find interesting is like everything is a thing now um yeah you know what i mean I think it's my theory is they've they've been you know putting things in the water you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. yeah the water yeah <laughs> the water's turned the kids gay now yeah well no, and I, I, yeah I mean <laughs> I don't know I don't know I think there's a mixture if it's like a it's a whole new it's like a wave you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like it's a it's everything's like a back and forth and I feel like people are just like I mean I feel like maybe some people wow well, I'm so I'm so cultured I know everything but like. Well, I mean, I feel now, like some people haven't had the opportunity to like explore that or like express that, so they mm-hmm. are doing it now. Yeah, and I think, and I think that because I do think in junior high, in uh, not so much high school, but I would say junior high. <laughs> well, I told one time I told some friends, I go, well, when you went to slumber parties, didn't you make out with the girls? Didn't you guys all make out and practice kissing? Yeah. And they go, no, no. <laughs> and I go, well, we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, it really was not a gay thing. It was really practicing kissing. Yeah, I do you that know? all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Don't that's definitely that's more fun? female, though. Yeah, me, me and Connor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I never sat down with my boys. I'm like, guys, we got to start making we gotta out. We got to get good out. at this. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Really? 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 <laughs> oh, really, for sure. Really? Yeah, we we would just go find I a girl. I can't imagine what practicing kissing would be like. It was crazy. And then, uh, but here was where I, my first, my first shame was they said I kissed too hard. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was all paranoid about, ooh, do I kiss too hard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a crazy time, but it was weird, you know? It, yeah. was, it was just really only, I think it was only like one slumber party, to be honest. It was just like, well, let's practice kissing because we were all starting to have boyfriends. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I, you know what Kendall's Jenner went through when she was younger? <laughs> she used to say that boys would say her, her lips were so tiny. <laughs> oh yeah, so she had to get some ginormous ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, the stand fell off. That's my bad. No, I screw it, right just now. screw Uh-oh. it back in. Uh-oh. But uh, <laughs> so I don't know if that. So me, so like that's how. Let me think. Did did somebody come out of that? You know, maybe well, come def- out of that. It definitely became more accepting. Like with our generation, uh, it was. Yeah, a an- bunch of liberals were in the comedy scene. Well, no, it was like anti-bullying started yes. happening so yes. they that was like big trouble like i had to be sat down and told not to make fun of kids anymore i was like dude i'm just having fun oh huh. so right. like yeah. my, my it was fun. just like that well i mean that's just that's just like my family and like how we show love is mm-hmm. just completely destroying someone yeah. <laughs> so what is it called so yeah in elementary school my friend used to do this thing where it was like he would touch somebody you ever heard of this where you touch somebody for the amount of seconds and then you would say like oh you're this percent gay is that <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> anyway they're like you guys need to stop doing that yeah well they're they, in grade school yeah yeah they also just i mean it was basically they would stop if they felt like if they were they thought everybody was so sensitive mm-hmm. that it was like anytime somebody got made fun of it was an instant straight to the office and it was right, like even if right. it was your friends like you're good friends and you're both like messing around, they would take it as if you were trying to just to, to just yeah like to, hurt them. Yeah. Um, so now I think it's just like pe- like I know it's said by like adults like the the kids are getting soft, but it really has become kind of that. It's the adults' fault. But it, yeah, but yeah, but, but in those environments, it, you do like I think that's why there's more be- gay people coming out because it, it's a safe environment to do so. Nice, and that's a good thing, right, Connor? Yeah, I would say so, but oh, yeah, let yeah, me make God. fun of you at least. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are two things. Um, so there's this really weird story that I recently learned about. So I'm Chinese. Mm-hmm. You know, as much as... That's so weird. As much as you guys can whitewash <laughs> me with your eyes, <laughs> I'm actually Chinese. Um, I learned about this story in 2005. 
<clears throat> this girl had like uh like very Asian parents, like extremely like strict. And then she fucking murdered one of them. Yeah. In Overland Park, Leewood. Oh. Leewood, Kansas. B- went to Blue Valley North. Ooh. Nice. Murder roll. Yeah. Ooh. Is this your <laughs> is this your sensei? <laughs> <laughs> She she stabbed. she stabbed. Come on, you got to give that to me. That, that one was, was a good, good. one. Sensei. She stabbed. She stabbed her mom fifty times. Oh, I kind of yeah. The stabbings kinda, usually result in the high numbers. And did that? Like, and was that a book? No. No. Okay. I felt like I wanted to send that to my mom, but I felt like that gave the wrong message. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, that's a bad. Oh. <laughs> that's a rough message. To be like, that, this could happen yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have said that to my mom. <laughs> Now, I do think my kids probably, I don't know, they, they probably had those visions at times. <laughs> yeah, probably for that, if they got in trouble for or that, something. Yeah, just for those, oh, it's like, ugh. Um, I, yeah. I, I did so much, I, like, I heard about it from somebody who was near, um, near like this area on a YouTube video for some reason. Ooh. Um, and then he said, she said she was on drugs, but they said, the, all the news reports said she was, <gasps> had no drugs in her system. Hmm. At the time of the arrest, but um, wait. So who's this YouTube guy? It's it was all YouTube comment. But it was, oh, it was oh. to a different case. It was about another Asian woman killing her parents. Um, what's up mm. with these Asian ladies? Because being Asian sucks. <laughs> That's what I was telling you. Like being Asian is rough. Um, but but part of me is like. I don't know. She should have just been like me and failed high school instead of killing her, her parents. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like these men, these men who go and they kill their kids. And and it's like, really, you didn't want to pay child support. So we're going to do that. I mean, I don't understand. Yeah. You think you can get there are ways out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why? What is And I just hate those stories because it's like. It, it, it's so violent and it's like i don't understand really the i don't i can't imagine thinking that way it's really oh, scary and it's so prevalent but yeah but some now, people just snap yeah. but now she's like an aclu like like legal advocacy person she got so out she got out so when did she years. get oh because she was a youth right she was 16 yeah. mm. she got out for six wait years. so what does she say now um <laughs> she says that kill your parents she says you know <laughs> what is happening we heard a weird noise. Oh. Mac OS gave me a notification. Mm. But she was like, she was she was talking about like, I never understood. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, don't look at that. <laughs> she was like, uh, <laughs> she was like, I never understood as a youth in Johnson County how blacks are like disproportionately jailed than non-blacks. I was like, yeah, sure. But it's also weird saying that's like, you went to, you, you went to jail for six years for murdering somebody. Yeah, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> That's insane. Um, but I mean, it's cool. I mean, I kind of like the story that was told me is that she was on drugs and she was sent home on drugs, and then like her parents like got mad at her and then she attacked them. But mm. that's not. But they were saying that she wasn't. That's what the news article says. And then I don't know, man. Uh, they said they had you know, the IHOP on 119th. That's what they said she ate at. That's pretty cool. Oh, really? Uh, her, 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 her and her friends were, like eating at the IHOP there. After she was uh, had a court hearing. Mm. Now was mm. that okay? So when I went to school, that you wouldn't know if some you know if kids were in an abusive home, mm-hmm. you wouldn't know those type of things. Now, would you know all that stuff now if you're at school? Like it seems like <laughs> yeah. it's more apparent, right? Is yeah. that true? Sometimes they'll just be like, "Hey, this kid's fucked up." Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, oh, all right. Yeah. Well, for me, I was shout out my mom. What? But um. Like, I just didn't show up to school, or you have, I don't know, kids always act out unusual or do a lot mm-hmm. of drugs. There's a lot, I knew guys who was, like, high mm-hmm. consistently. Oh, days. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, drug dealers, there's, like, a shooting at elementary school near here. Many people killed themselves, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. The youth is pretty fucked up um, at this point. I would feel, okay, so in... We had I my I still had the fear of nuclear war. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I was really fearful. I had a lot of I was a fearful person inside, anxiety wise. But there was no oh let's go to therapy. Hey, there's let's take a. There was none of that. Your parents would go whatever. That's stupid, you know. Or if you share if you shared a fear, okay. Mm-hmm. Unlike now, you share that fear and you're like getting help. Yeah. So my fear was 
um, the nuclear war. Mm -hmm. And then I went through kind of the drug, kind of the drug fears. Oh, I'm going to die. Or there's a few times that I thought, oh, you know, I, I, th this is it for me. Uh, alcohol poisoning. You know, I had some episodes like that. I worry now about, say, I've got a granddaughter. Uh, she's 12. I got grandsons, you know, that are 18 and 17. Mm -hmm. So, but I look at the Ukraine war and, you know, I feel so bad for them. It's like they're just there and nobody will help them because they're afraid nuclear war. Well, the whole yeah. world's going to blow well, up. Mm -hmm. so, I don't think. Well, well, I mean, it would be devastating. I mean, whatever happens, that's why we're not helping is because of all of this nuclear stuff. And then I would feel like if I'm a youth now, mm -hmm. what would I think is out you, there? Well, we're you, not. You would be on Twitter. Yeah, it's usually but, just yelling but on would Twitter. You be fearf are you fearful? I mean, do you I, feel like what's the point? Angry. Uh -huh. I would say the oh, consensus is like, yeah, we care about Ukraine, but school shootings are way more, oh, yeah, way yeah, more yeah. possible. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, I mean, that's school true. School shootings, we okay, would have like, okay. we would have like talks about it. What was it. the last school shooting? There's one like every week. Really? <laughs> yes. well, there the is. One. Yeah. I don't know. And this weekend. Oh, there was one. Yeah, there was one. Yeah. Yeah. This weekend was at the mall at a party. Um, Let's start a school. But well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like, okay, I don't know. I feel like people for, I don't know. I feel like people, well, also I feel the, like you have to look at it by case by case basis. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to. Case I by case. Like, it's just a dude running into to a school and shooting it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's, it's easy to just. <laughs> now, like, what did he really want? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, how, how could have it actually been prevented? Because it's people, yeah. people, people do like blanket solutions to like, okay, Hey, this person did this. Like, yeah, I'm just saying. For some people, it is actually access to guns. For some people, it actually is mental health. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of fear, fear mongering with that type of stuff. I'm just saying, like, um, was it Olathe East? I think had a shooting. I think, but I don't think anybody died. Except a lot of them yeah. were being wounded, and also, um, now I, that was no fear at all for me for that type of of thing happening. Um, so I find that, yeah, what would that be like? Or if you knew that person or if you saw that person wearing the, yeah. you know, it started with the long, dark coats, yeah. you know, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's like you could spot the kid that would do it. Yeah, you like, would kind of oh, spot. You would kind of like spot. It's also the same thing with, like, suicide, I feel like. Yes. And, you know. Some, sometimes okay. no, though. But, you know, here's what I was thinking, too. I feel like you guys, and even my daughter, she's in her 40s, even her group of friends, I felt like they have had a lot more death in their lives mm. at young ages. Yeah. Just like, and, and in school, right? I mean. Yeah, I mean, I knew like three kids that killed themselves. I was yeah. like, good God. Yeah. It's a bunch. I didn't start experiencing that until in my 20s. Crazy, Connor. Dude. Wow, Drop how them like flies. You know, kill them, <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many and how many did I hang out with? Three of them. Yeah, <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you you got to delete that. <laughs> yeah, they just kept dropping around me. I was like, "What's going on, guys?" <laughs> and who's the? What is it? The the common denominator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just look around. I'm like. You guys really? aren't going to do it, do right? I need to work on my first, do I need to work on my hypersensitivity? <laughs> but Connor was like, Connor was like, dude, I'm driving right now and everybody is acting like mentally disabled, dude. Yeah. I told him. Yeah, that. Westport was wild when I, told, I left. I was like, what I is told, happening? I told Connor, the, there's a saying. They say, if you meet one person and they're mentally disabled, then they're mentally disabled. But if you meet everybody <laughs> and they're mentally disabled, then you're mentally disabled. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't explain the suicides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you people people there aren't your friends or your caretakers, Connor. Dude, maybe I'm just maybe I'm an energy vampire sapped away on oh, their you energy. You just suck what is it? Oh you just suck the life out of me. <laughs> no, it's just like you're a vampire. You don't suck blood, you just suck. <laughs> You suck them. Yeah. Or, or, or toxic. I love the word, uh, the toxic relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just like. Toxic. Yeah. Oh. And I have no, at my age, I have no toxic relationships in my life. That's, Finally. Yeah. I that mean, usually about you cut. 67. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've weeded them out. Maybe, maybe there's a little bit. A lot of kids are like immature, but I'm not, I'm not invested into any of that stuff right now. Dude, this, this girl I've been talking to, shout out if you listen to more than an hour into the podcast <laughs> so if you listen then uh 
Please hang out with me. Please. Nice. Is that the picture? What? Who is the picture today on your story? Oh, I just pre- post random girls on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say she's cute. <laughs> yeah, she's the artist who made that music. That I want to oh. hate. I want to kill myself. Music. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Stop. You know, I might have number four right here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know what? If that happens, Connor, you're gonna move to Topeka, and we're gonna deal yeah. with this. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you know, okay. <laughs> like after I kill myself, Connor's be like, that was a dumb reason to kick me out of the pot. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Really? Seriously? I would have just left. See, right? Yeah. Would have just left, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, no, what is it? Fuck, what was I talking about? The girl. Oh, the, the girl. girl. I'm seeing this girl. She's graduated college. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh. Um, journalism degree. She's like doing marketing stuff. Okay. Hopefully, I'm not gonna dox her too much. But uh, she's trying to get me to go to these like Asian things. And she's Asian. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we were talking. That's so funny. She's Asian. Um, but she didn't stab her mom. <laughs> I want to talk to her about that. Like, dude, this is fucking crazy. This this girl like went to like Blue Valley North, and then stabbed her mom fifty. And she seemed like popular. She seemed like wait, and you're telling the girl this? I probably think it's interesting. <laughs> well, do you read about? <clears throat> do you read about the Asian ladies who like they had their eye surgery? So that they like. <clears throat> oh, don't look Asian. Yeah, so they could they would not have whatever they it's whatever awful term they say, but yeah, almond um, eyes, something. That, but they would eyes. make it so they would have eyelids, and they the women would have you know they go well you can't you can't be an actress unless you fix your eyes you know and stuff like that. I'm like what? You want? I hate that kind of. Yeah. I just hate I hate all of this racism and uh, the in, in inappropriate. Uh, the the black killings and the Asian this and the Mexican immigrants and all of this is like and I've had my hand I yeah. was Got down it. in Mexico feeding the asylum seekers when they were stuck in Mexico I was doing that kind of stuff huh. right mm. it'd be mm. great if you bought a shirt or I could spray paint it onto that sweatshirt no no this is stop this it. is just my comfy gear <laughs> stop Asian hate <laughs> there that. you go no there dude, you go. no it's like uh, she was like hey I think this would be fun to go to and then she links me something at the end of this month i haven't seen her oh. since like the start of this month <laughs> yeah and it's like an all asian it's like it's like four asian 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 artist convention networking free food yeah and I, then they i think i told you i think they're just trying to gather all the asians and yeah exterminate them <laughs> yeah. exterminate us it's no a, it's, the next, no. it's the next concentration camp <laughs> the next uh what is it called it's internment camp. it's like world war ii again yeah. <laughs> I was watching on this on this you know I'm watching this Jerry Seinfeld with the comics in the cars and they did this thing because he's Jewish and the other mm-hmm. guy was Jewish and they go you know why did they call it concentration camp what were they concentrating on it's an important question I mean, it's a yeah. terrible I mean it's one of those things and that's what they kept bringing up how many of them had been gotten in trouble for something they've said joke wise mm-hmm. you know um or offensive or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it like? Um, yeah. Anyway, it's it's a speed dating format. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whereas with other Asians. And it's like they had to be like, what type of art do you create? I had to go uh, stand up comedy. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me this. It's speed dating. Wow. It's not speed dating, but it's like a speed dating format. It's made oh. so that like other Asian oh. artists can like network with so each Connor other. So Connor can't do it? Yeah. <laughs> Roll up with some tape on my eyes. Oh, no. Track, track, you know, do like track down your lineage, man. It's just German, Irish, Jewish. That's all I got. It's just a big mixed bag of Europe. So, um, what is it called? Maybe I should do the podcast like this more. But uh, (laughs) holding the mic stand. Okay, so hold on. Let me. So this this woman, this woman said she's like part Mongolian, right? Mm Mm-hmm lady your age by the way mm-hmm. she okay. goes um and then she goes like i'm part mongolian uh she's like that's why i have these chink eyes uh-huh. oh. and then she looks at me she's she's like white presenting she's pretty white she's white and, she's, <laughs> and then she does this. nice i was no. like hit you with it was it was in a mental institution oh oh well yeah that's just a crazy no, person no it was 
it was the counselor. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> the counselor My lady. God. <laughs> yeah, why would her age? Why yeah. would her age person be in the mental institution with the children? Yeah, never know. It's funny, yeah. and then like one of the counselors was telling us like how he like deals drugs on like a burner phone and like the prices he used for weed. These are the counselors. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Counselors wow. are crazy cool. <laughs> counselors are crazy. Is that in cool. Kansas City? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It's a pretty cool thing to get into and just be telling all the crazy kids what you do. Yeah. 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 Um. Some of them were crazy. Some of them were not. Some were mostly of them are like suicidal type people. Mm. I was just uh, skipping school. Dude, get me in there. Dude, Dude, I, I was, <laughs> I was, I was avoiding juvenile detention. Man, that's what I was doing. Mm. And do you get um, so if you know how some people go? Oh, suicide! It's so selfish. It's so this. When I was suicidal, I truly, truly, truly felt that everyone would be. Not happy that I did it, but they would be going, oh, good. Uh, yeah. Because oh, it's uh, so stressful. You know, like you're stressing your whole family out and every, you got all this weird shit going on. Yeah. And it's such a feeling. And so when I hear that, it's like, it's kind of like, I get it. I get it. It's kind of weird to be able to say that, but I never say, oh, they're so selfish or they're so, it's just so painful. And you kind of wish, oh, I wish I would have waited five more minutes. Like when mm -hmm. I said I went out to this place for a month, I was suicidal, you yeah. know? And um, and I'm glad I didn't do it, but sometimes it's just, you know. But I get it, and some people don't get it. There's some. Do you know there's people out there who really are not ever depressed? Have you ever talked to somebody? I don't know if you have, but I have, yeah. I have talked to people who are never depressed, have never had a suicide thought, have never anything. I yeah. I I feel like there's no. Yeah, I mean that could have been me. But yeah. What? I'm not not depressed. Yeah, I mean there's nothing. Um, no, I was like before, like bad things happened to me. I was happy. Yeah, well, like, I mean, I some like, people on this earth are le legitimately just chilling. They're they, just hanging out. Yeah, they just. It's not that they don't have feelings. It's just that things roll off of them. Mm -hmm. They, I think, they're healthy uh, emotionally. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, you, I don't care if you but don't no, like me. You know what I mean? No. And I was very like, oh my god, if you don't like me or this or that, I would just like dwell on uh, it. A yeah. guy. A guy who's a YouTuber was like talking about relationships and it's like this guy, one person asked him like, how do you get self-esteem? It's easy. Just have it before you're 14. Yeah. <laughs> or before you're 42. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, what is it like? Um, no, I mean, I, I could totally imagine a world where it's like, uh, I'm happy. If, you know, if, if things, if I like was set up like a, with a good foundation for things. I mean, the biggest thing is about, um, I remember this guy talking about it. He's like, this is a term that like, what is it? What's it called? Pickup artists use to like tell guys how to pick up women, but but it's also like used for. You can use it for other stuff. It's called outcome independence. Like you can't let the things that happen to you like become your life. Yes, yes, that's true. Um, but yeah, pickup artists use it to say like, man, it doesn't matter if that chick dropped you, man. You know yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Don't. You know. So what if that guy did this or that guy did that or whatever? You know. You gotta. But it took it. I mean, it literally but, took me years to get past that kind of stuff, right? I mm. mean, it just like every 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 uh, ten years, it's like, okay, this is my forties. Okay, this is my fifties. What's gonna, you know? Then I would say I'm at the best time of my life right now, mm -hmm. and I'm sixty nine. It's taken me sixty nine years to be able to sit there and say I am at the best time of li my life right nice. now. That's good. That's cool. But isn't that yeah. weird? I think, I mean, I that's think a long time. I think too. Yeah, I mean, that is a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing it, great. I think I'm happy. Well, but also, you know what? And remember, uh, I think you might heard it, but I, I'm starting to bring up. So my mom was a psychiatric nurse. Mm. My dad was the alcoholic on her floor. And then one day he told her she had nice legs, and so she married him. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of my routine. But that was the love story I was brought up with. Yeah. But you know how sick and wrong that really was. Oh yeah, it's really awful. It's just a huge lie. It's a yeah, it's terrible. And then you know they're bringing. So I'm born into that Doctor, relationship, patient, mm -hmm. consensual sex. Oh my god, it yeah. was so wrong. And then you know everything that it, it, everything was just wrong. So I just kind of started out with all this weird emotional stuff, but I didn't realize how much it was until a couple years ago. That's what I mean. It's just kind of weird. Like, what if you didn't? What if I died in my forties and I would have never realized that? Yeah, <laughs> it's well, kind of I mean, weird. A lot of people, a lot of people, especially 
our age, Connor. Not mm-hmm. necessarily meaning you, but I mean they're not actualized real people. They don't. They they're not self aware. They don't. They just what? figuring out stuff. They're just they're just experiencing life. Mm-hmm. They're not really thinking about it. A lot of people actual. I, I don't know. I think this is true. I mean, because I do it a lot, and that's my experience matters or something i mean uh i think actual self-growth like happens when you like sit down and think about the things you have to but some people don't have to self-reflect at all yeah so. yeah they i think and i don't know that 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 doesn't mean that their life is necessarily perfect it's just they don't they just don't dwell on it I yeah think. do you think it's like oh it's like oh, i'm going to work know. i'm going to work so what you know if I'm it's like, like you're not gonna have to grow you're not gonna grow if you don't have to i don't think but what is it um i just feel like this is what i was talking about like there's like a hierarchy of needs it's like uh it's like physical physiological then it's like safety and then it's like love and belonging and then i haven't reached like love and belonging. it's like love and belonging and then like so social wait are you talking about like the keys to happiness that the hierarchy of yeah mm-hmm. of like shelter uh i forgot what it was but it's like the third i know that it's like a physiological then it's safety and then it's love and belonging i don't have love and belonging um and then the one at the top is like actualizing one's potential and i'm trying to skip right to that that's my <laughs> you're trying to jump ahead yeah that's what you, I, mean. I mean you can yeah and, and and you know like um if, so when i was 24 i was having my first baby mm-hmm. and i was married but um and i was in the i I had moved to Georgia and back. Okay, so I kind of had done some of that stuff. But I was an alcoholic. I was actually an alcoholic mother. You know what I mean? Yeah. And at that time, at that time, the drinking and smoking while pregnant was not a big thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you could still have a smoking room at the hospital. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. They'd bring your baby to nurse. You'd be like, yeah, just you know, let me light up. And I'm and, ah, you don't need to smoke a cigarette before I bring the baby. I go, yeah, let me just, yeah. you know what I mean? Seriously, yeah. it was it was kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so my addictions could play in, but yet I had friends. So here's where the addiction part comes in. Um, so I had other girlfriends who were kind of pregnant at the same time. They quit drinking. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Uh, and the I hell? could, I mean, that, and I didn't see it at the time that that's, you know, that my addiction was truly there because I didn't have the hangovers. I didn't have the really feeling bad stuff, yeah. you know, until, like I said, in my 30s. Mm. But um, so my potential, my potential was always kind of clouded. I made, I made decisions and then I was also very up and down, hyper and then depressed. I was kind of that, undi- you know, what is it? Undiagnosed bipolar. Oh, I mean, I yeah. Just, you know, I had they all that stuff. They used to call it a uh, manic depressive Manic, disorder. yes. As an undiagnosed and what self, then of course we didn't, and we never used the term self-medicating. It was like, give me a drink, give me a joint. You know? Yeah. I feel like shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just stuff like that. So I don't know. I feel like everything gets real drawn out now and I think it's good. Mm-hmm. But then does it, has it gone too far? I don't know. I think you just have to figure it out. I don't know. I don't yeah. I think I think you can you can start bad and then you'll start to do good and then you'll go into therapy and then I think sometimes it'll almost make it worse. And I also think what it depends what derails you. What derails you? What happens that that's it? Not I mean just a divorce, burning, a burn, breakup. Burning myself out. Yeah. I thought it gets so exhausted. Yes, you need to t- you need to see you need some self care right now, right? Yeah, but it's like I don't know. I was thinking about skating, but again, sorry, like maybe just not do ramps or something. I don't know. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> not do ramps. Or you like, mean skate skateboard ramps? Not like yeah. Not like, not like not like not like do vertical stuff. Not like super vertical. Yeah, just I, don't go, know, I don't know. Just do don't. I just don't want to do shit that. Just go ramps. right around. <laughs> you know what? Okay, so or street skating. Well, so yeah. I'm having this surgery, right? So I'm gonna use a wheelchair. And this walker with this thing to prep my arm on. Mm. So did my husband kept going, have you practiced in the wheelchair yet? I go, no, I will. <laughs> so I'm on the carpet with it today, right? And I'm trying to wheel it off the carpet into d- to go down the hallway. Yeah. Well, I finally had to get out and push it off the carpet because I couldn't get it because this kind of was hurting. Yeah. So then I go down the hallway and then I'm trying to turn it around and I can't get over the, the floor strip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're just what? stuck. I'm just stuck, and I go, I can't get over this little bump. What am I gonna? How am I going to survive this next three weeks? So I don't know. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna go up to the mics? 
in a wheelchair? I I, I might. It just yeah, you should come up Thursday. You, and we'll roll you, you around. Are you gonna be, you're gonna be <laughs> able to listen to the podcast this Sunday, right? Oh yeah, I'll be able. To, yeah, but and see, I think the the thing is that. So here I am with this, but I'm also no weight bearing. So if I'm on a mm. walker, I could take the wheelchair to the mic, but Denny would have to push me. I mean, it's not like I can't go to like, then I start thinking about those games that when they're wheelchair basketball and stuff oh, like yeah. that, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be really weird. I just, I thought, let's bring, let's get one of them toilets in the bed. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's sit down <laughs> So I oh. don't know. It's gonna be wow. weird. It's it's yeah. How many minutes? Duration been? of the podcast has gone long. Oh okay. Because <laughs> you'll okay. edit. You do edit. Um, I prefer not to. Okay. <laughs> so now has this been fun? Yeah. Oh yeah. Usually I think it's I been good. To the guests. Oh. <laughs> but, um, I'm the, yeah. It's me taking over. Like. <laughs> do you want this as well? I usually get these. I usually I All wear these right. as masks. I love them. Did you make them? Did you make this? <laughs> no. Now, I, 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 okay. Now look at his face when he give. Do you feel sincere? Just <laughs> I know he's being a little brat. That is sincere gift. <laughs> I, can, I can tell he's tired. He's being sassy right now. I know. Is he mad at us? Do <laughs> no, we need to leave, not, because Connor? Because you guys are like, wow. Am, am I am I living a fake life? This is my true myself. This is who I am. This I'm is who he dick. is. I'm just an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. These are called deep talks. Deep talk. Oh, I like no. That. I'm not like I was. If you ask anybody, like um, in high school, it's pretty much the same. I mean, maybe a little bit more like passive and didn't know how to like assert myself, but like I'm pretty much the same. Person. Well, I think you're b very brave. I think doing. I, I'm really. It excites me to see that group of young people at the comedy club. I think how fun is that to have an outlet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Got really. It. I do yeah. think that's cool. I created the group. Guys, oh, I is take it your I, group? It was, it's actually mine. No, which it's is hilarious. Mine, which is hilarious because <laughs> I, you were the guy alone at the bar hanging at the comedy oh. club, and me I know, would go but, up and talk to you. I know because people no, flock to me. No, it would just no because you know it, how to surround it's yourself people, with more successful people than you. People this flock guy is to friends me. Friends with like engineers and like physicists and shit. They flock to it's me. It's crazy. Isn't that cool? Though? I said. I say zero words and people just come up to no, me. No. And then all of a sudden I have no, a group. No, you're just like, I'm Heaven so chill. Heaven. I'm so chill. Exactly. You I'm are. So chill. You Shut are. the fuck up, Connor. <laughs> I create the frame. Okay, I take responsibility. <laughs> I met Max before you. I met Curtis before you. I met Pat before you, okay? Suck my huge dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I met Max. Mm -hmm. Right, because I see he was there early before me, and so I got to. That's how I met him, being behind him on the on the okay. list. Yeah. So this is what I mean. You'll be on the wall. You'll. Sign oh, it. I gotta sign it. Oh yeah, and I gotta give you my picture. There's this. My head. Uh, sharpie right there. Okay, I will do that, and then I'm gonna give this to you, John and then. <laughs> or at least it's not Elton John. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jeez. Let me look. Can I see you? Mm -hmm. I like it. I this is this is from the one the other day that they were doing. The headshot? Uh, yeah, I had it done. I they, they can't hear you. They can't hear you. <laughs> oh, we're still on? That's why we were off. No, we're never going off. <laughs> See, he brought John Lennon up. That's why he's doing it in my glasses. <laughs> I don't have a beard. Let's bring it up on the podcast for the video. So we can see it. <laughs> well, he's far away enough. I can fill up the gap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but don't okay, you, want, you want to sign? So I guess that's my dream is I want my photo. To be on the Small Boys Podcast. I'm done with the Small Boys Podcast. <laughs> that's all I need, and I'm done. I'm out. I'm just done with the whole thing. Oh, here. So I'm going to go. I wish I was a girl. Ugh. <laughs> well, look, I got your, uh, I finally got your Facebook message. Oh, you did? Look. <laughs> it says Jay Patterson one day ago. <laughs> See, and he was yeah, he was ghosting me or gaslighting me or whatever. Else. <laughs> Both. <laughs> and then I'm like, should I bug him? Does he remember? <laughs> was it a joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have you. I see Connor. I didn't have you to back up. Like Connor, is this for real? Am I too excited? Yeah. <laughs>
I never do that. I'm I'm like a superior being. That's what people don't realize. It's not a persona. It's just me being oh a, my. a oppressive person. I'm cooler. Good. I'm way cooler than anybody my own age. They don't they don't they don't create anything except suck shit. That's what they do. They suck shit. They complain about girlfriends and then take them back the next day. That's what they do. They're like, ooh, dude, dude, dude she's so codependent. <laughs> I'm codependent. Don't you love like, that word? She's codependent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yep, yep, yep.